Frontend development is emerging as one of the highest paying fields of 2023. The demand of frontend developers are increasing and the supply of good frontend developers is decreasing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn and master frontend development so that you can get a job as a frontend developer in the company that you want with the package that you like. So like to understand in layman terms, frontend development is all about the appearance. Like if you go on a website, if you go on a mobile app, if you go on anything, the first thing you see has been created by the frontend development has been created by frontend developers, the team of them. So if you go on an app, you go on Facebook, you go on Instagram, the front page you see, that is the product of frontend development. Compare that to backend development where everything is happening behind the scenes, like the database management, the server things, the all the processing and all that is on the backend development and everything you can see as a user of the application, as a user of the website is frontend development. And the best way to learn frontend development is by practicing it. And there's a lot of courses online that teaches front-end development, but they focus more on the theory aspect of it. They focus more on the theoretical aspect of it, but the best way to learn and master front-end development is by practicing it or what I call the hands-on approach. So I've broken it down into five steps. And if you follow these five steps, then you will learn and master front-end development to the T. So let's go into it one by one. Let's start with step number one, which is learn HTML and CSS. So that is obvious. The most building block, the most basic element of front-end development is HTML and CSS. So learn HTML and CSS and uh, there's a lot of resources. Fortunately, there's a lot of resources, free resources available for learning HTML and CSS. And every resource that I have, every resource that I'm mentioning, I'll put it in the description box so you can go and check it out. So HTML and CSS are the most basic building block of front-end development. They're like the most basic element that you can learn for front-end development. And HTML and CSS are different than learning a programming language or programming. So HTML and CSS are not programming languages like some people believe. So they're a bit different. And fortunately, there's a lot of free resources available that you can use for learning HTML and CSS. And I'll mention every resource I have collected in the description box. So all the resources that I'm mentioning and other resources will be in the description box. So go check it out. And to mention a few, like one great like a channel for learning HTML and CSS is Code with Harry. So Code with Harry is one of the best channels for front-end development as a whole. Apart from that, you have Edureka and you have a few more websites and channels. I'll put them all in the description. You can go check it out. So learn HTML and CSS. And after you've learned HTML and CSS, create some very simple websites. Like create a website with a title, your name and a picture, your photo. Try to create some simple websites, websites as simple as that with just a button and you know, just from going from one page to another, just using HTML and CSS, try to create some very, very basic websites and you'll get the hang of it. You'll get the hang of syntax and you know, you'll be able to write correctly a web page design, simple web page design using just HTML and CSS. Now, once you've learned HTML and CSS, the next thing to learn is JavaScript. So the second thing is JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is a programming language, so you need to take a deep dive into it. So again, for learning JavaScript, you can take a, like you can watch Code with Harry's video, or you can take a course on Udemy, or you can just search online. There's a lot of tutorials available for JavaScript. So learn JavaScript in details, okay? Like, and if it's your first time learning programming language, then learn it in very details, learn everything, not just what is needed for web development, but learn most of it, learn the syntax, learn the elements of it, learn the structures there, learn everything in JavaScript, take a deep dive into JavaScript, take a couple of weeks and understand JavaScript. And once you've understood JavaScript, once you can write basic programs in JavaScript, then try to integrate it with HTML and CSS. Again, for learning that, you have code with Harry, you have some other resources, I'll mention them, you can take it out. So after you've learned HTML and CSS, now you've learned JavaScript and now you are able to integrate JavaScript with HTML and CSS. Now try to create some dynamic websites. Okay. So earlier you created some static websites. Now, now that you've learned JavaScript, try to create some dynamic websites, simple stuff only, whatever your imagination is, try to create a website, try to create a web page, try to create a small website for a business or for yourself, try to create small, small websites using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay. Now once, you have had the hang of working with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, all of them, 
then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to move to codepen.io so codepen.io is a code editor where you can code html css and javascript and you can see on the website how your web page is becoming so it's a great great tool that you can use and not only that a lot of people upload their projects to codepen so you can open someone else's project and see how their source code is see how they have done a project see how they have made a website and you'll be able to learn a lot from codepen so codepen is like one of the best code editors for front end development you'll be able to get a lot of knowledge and it's basically like your html css and javascript and whatever line you code you have a output in the bottom and you'll be able to see the output as you code so it's a very amazing tool and once you go to codepen.io try to take inspiration from some of the projects there and try to create some basic projects of your own okay like uh, some website that you want or some something like a design anything whatever you want try to create it in codepen.io and you can even save it there and then you can even link it to your portfolio or on your resume so create some great projects on codepen.io whatever your imagination is learn from the projects that are already there and they will also be a good part of your portfolio as well now once you've done all of this once you're very confident in html css and javascript once you're able to like do some stuff using html css and javascript the next thing to do in this order of sequence is learning frameworks so there's a lot of front end development frameworks but to name a few which are popular are react js vue js etc again i'll mention everything in the description you can check the description box out so what is a framework basically so frameworks are there to make your life easier as a programmer so what you can do in html css and javascript you can do using a framework with fewer lines of code and with more efficiency for example if you have react js on vue js then they'll have some like predetermined libraries etc which you can use to like handle complex tasks in an easy manner and using lesser lines of code okay now again for uh, learning these frameworks you have to follow the same pattern either you can take a course on udemy or you can learn from code with harry and for react js there's a lot of great channels you just have to search on youtube you'll find a lot of channels i'll even put my best resources in the description so learn a framework like react js or vue js now once you've learned a framework once you've done everything till now now is a important step okay it's a part of the fourth step and this step is to create a really really great project so this project will be like the highlight of your resume so i want you to take a couple of days to think about project ideas for example like uh, i had a like startup project in which basically it was about like teaching programming teaching dsa so i had created a whole website with a payment gateway etc and it was a part of my portfolio so i could show it whenever i was appearing for an interview i could show it to the interviewer that i have made a website i had deployed it somewhere so try to create a website a fully functional website which has amazing design amazing user interface which is pleasant to look at and that will be the highlight of your resume so make a project like that and once you feel like it is good then you can either deploy it somewhere like github heroku there's a lot of free places where you can deploy your website and then give it a give its link in the resume this will be the highlight of your resume and this will be the thing that will impress your interviewer now the fifth and the last step is stay up to date with the trends so there's a lot of uh, like frameworks coming there's a lot of technologies coming there's a lot of new things happening in the world of front end development stay up to date with that like if you follow code pen then you'll see a lot of ways of doing the same thing a better way of doing the same thing that you might not know of or you might or there might be a small technology that can help you do something more efficiently so stay up to date with the trends stay up to date with what is happening in the world of front end development and that's pretty much it for the five tips now one bonus tip for you and this is about the theory part because i said a little bit of learning theory is also important because when you go for your interview then they will ask you like a, like they'll ask you from the theory part of uh, front end as well like they'll ask you some things about react they'll ask you something about javascript html css whatever it may be so this is make notes okay so whatever you're reading whatever you're learning whatever you're documenting after you've done something practically then you can make notes about it okay don't go the other way around you read notes then do something practically here you need to do the opposite 
learn it practically then once you've learned it make notes you can even like learn from some articles or some courses whatever and you can make notes from that but my i stand on my point i stand by my point that in front end development learning and practicing is more important than just you know like going like knee deep into theory so start learning with the stuff that i mentioned create some good websites and you will definitely master front end development and get a high paying job because like i said it is one of the highest paying fields of 2023 so that's pretty much from that's pretty much it from my side in case you have any doubts put them in the comments otherwise let's see each other in the next video thank you